How's it going guys? This is Root Junkie here. Uh, today's video is going to be on the HTC One M8, this device right here. Very, very nice device. We're going to be doing a ROM install. ROM is going to be called uh, Liquid Smooth. Very awesome ROM. Uh, runs really nicely. So I'm going to do a little review on it and then we'll do an install. So let's do this. Here is the HCC 1M8. There is me in the reflection. Oh yeah. All right, I just gotta show you this. This is really crazy. This thing boots. It, it, the boot is insane. Watch this, you gotta check it out. Ready? Power this on. Here we go. There we go, power. Boot animation, very nice. Boot. Bam, okay? What is that, like four seconds? Four second boot up. Amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the ROM. There was the unlock screen right there and the boot animation. That was no camera trickery either with that boot, that boot time. That was how fast this ROM is, okay? Liquid smooth. Um, default uh, wallpaper right here, basic setup. The icons you can see are already kind of themed in blue, which is pretty cool. Um, let me go ahead and show you what else it comes with. Here you go. These are all the other apps on the device. Um, basically what you got here is Apollo, FM radio, your gallery, your basic, super basic stuff, torch you can see down there as well, dialer, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, not too much to speak of really there. You can see we do have the Android L navigation buttons down there at the bottom. So that's very, very cool. Nice transition here. Now, when it comes to this ROM, the cool stuff is going to be in your settings menu. So we'll pull down the settings menu right here. This is your notification drawer. Here is your quick toggles. And you can see those are nice, pretty standard. We'll go ahead and click into the settings. And very nice black, kind of a uh, backlit black looking uh, with gray buttons. Very cool. There is something I want to show you right down here. You can do total blackout and you can adjust that and it just makes everything very black. Instead of black and backlit, it's just black. So if you like that look better, you can adjust that very easily right there. So you go back and forth. All right, so that's very, very cool. Let's go ahead and just check out really quickly also about this phone. So here you can see liquid smooth is what we're working with. Um, there you go, is the M, uh, one, one M8, Android 4.4.4. Standard information, build information, things like that. See Linux enforcing, blah, blah, blah. Um, different download things, different information about Liquid Smooth. All right, we also have advanced options right here. Uh, basically, you have ad blocking, battery saving, uh, device, I'm not sure what device is. Some calibration stuff, tent touch screen things you can adjust right there. Super user, if you have. Uh, so it does have root access, obviously, and there's kernel tweaks, which is an application built into it. Um, system app remover, you can use that, or wake clock blocker. Those are some other options in there in advanced options. So really what's cool about Liquid Smooth, more than the fact that it boots insanely fast and you know just runs really, really nice, has some good theming, um, is all of the settings in here. So you can come in here and you can go to themes. And you can download themes for this thing and adjust all kinds of crazy stuff. Basically all of the size in the mod 11 stuff should be able to download those themes into here and then uh, theme this thing out really, really coolly. So boot animations, all kinds of stuff. There's tons of options. Um, let's go ahead and check out some of the other stuff. So right up here in general, see where it says general? This is all of your theming. So you have equalizer, interface, lock screen, navigation, um, notification, performance, and status bar. So we'll first, we're gonna talk about performance because I think this is pretty sweet. This is that kernel tweaker, which is the root application. You can come in here and you can go into parameters. And basically your device right now is set up to be 2.26 gigahertz is your processor speed. But if you click on it, you can see that you can actually overclock this bad boy to 2.8 gigahertz right there. And now this sucker is blazing fast. You can change your governors um, and all that kind of cool stuff as well. 
Let's see what other things you can do. I think the GPU, let's try your GPU performance. So this just has max, so it is maxed out. It doesn't look like you can go any farther than what it is already set to. Um, and there's all kinds of other things, low memory killers and file managers and backup stuff, recovery actions, um, CPU status, CPU information. It's all in here if you like this kind of information. Um, very, very cool. But I definitely dig the uh, overclocking you can do right there. Let's see, is there even an underclocking? So there is slightly underclocked if you want to change it from the 300 megahertz to 268 megahertz. Let's go ahead and do that too. So now we're overclocked um, for our max and we're underclocked for our minimum. So very, very cool, very cool. Let's see what else we can do on this thing. We'll back out of this and go back into our settings. Here we go. And we'll look at some of the other stuff. So we have status bars. Uh, here you can come in and change your battery icon. So I'm going to go with something like um, circle with percentage with dots. So you can see that changed up in the top. You can change the colors of it. Battery bar, you can add that if you want. Let's go with status bar. You can see the white bar all the way across the top up there. Um, add it in as well. And you can change all of it, its thickness, all of its kind of different settings and stuff like that. Like I said, this is very much like uh, CM11 with all of its settings and stuff like in there, which is just, it's just really nice. Um, there's some double tap stuff, brightness controls, just a whole bunch of things you can do for your status bar right there. Uh, we'll go into notifications. Again, same thing. You want to optimize how this thing looks, how this thing runs. Boom, here it is in notifications. You can change all that. We'll check navigation really quickly. Um, so what was I going to show you? Oh, so this is pretty cool. This is app circle sidebar. So I actually already enabled this and what it does is it does this. So you have all these apps spinning along the side and you can launch any of them from right there. So very, very cool. I turned that on. It does have high controls and all those kind of goodies. You can also go down here to buttons and these are your buttons along the bottom and you can actually change the order of them. So maybe you like your back button on the other side and your recent button over there and you want to rearrange them you can do that very easily and very simply just by sliding them around you can also add a button so maybe you want to add for example torch and now your little flashlight is right there you can see it turn on and it stays down there or if you want to get rid of something you've added you can just swipe across and now it is gone love it Absolutely love it. Customization awesomeness is what we got right here. Um, shoot, I can show you more in there. It's just so much to even to even look at. Let's go up here to interface though, and I'm gonna go shake events. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I turn this on to listen for shake events, and I set vertical shake as torch. So if you shake your phone up and down, there you go. Your your flashlight turns on. Your torch. Shake it again. Torch turns off. Dude, I'll, this stuff's amazing. There's so much in here I can't even honestly go over it all. Absolutely love this Liquid Smooth ROM. Um, I've been running TouchWiz uh, devices like the S5 for quite a while now, and this is like a breath of fresh air. Can't wait to be running this thing as my daily. I just gotta do a little more setup, and I'm gonna be doing that. So this thing is wicked cool. All right, so besides all of that information, all of the cool tweaks you can do in here, and I can't even go over all of them because there's so much. Um, it does run like flawlessly. I really liked it. Um, very, very smooth. Really nice. Uh, also, I guess I could show you this. You got wallpapers in here if you wanted to come in here and change wallpapers. Um, settings, widgets. We'll check out widgets really quick. Looks like there's a little shortcut widget there, analog clock. Some more clock stuff you can change and add in there. I'll put in a clock really quick here. So, um, yeah, standard. It basically looks like the uh, Google Launcher is what they're using here. It might be a different variant of it, but it's the same interface and feel. It's also got the OK Google command to do your voice searches and whatnot. So, very, very nice. All right, guys, so there you go. That's going to be my uh, kind of ROM review. I haven't run Liquid Smooth in a long time, and this thing is knocking my socks off. Definitely, you got to check this out if you have an HTC One M8. Love it. Let's go ahead and do a quick install of this. So basically what you're going to have to have is some prerequisites to do this. Let's see here. You're going to have to have a couple files downloaded. I've got mine in right here, ROMs. 
So you're gonna have to have the LS KitKat. This is version 3.2 of Liquid Smooth. I have it right there for the M8 Zip. And then some Google applications. I'll give you guys links to both those things in the video description down below. So have those handy. So I got them already on my device. You're gonna wanna have um, Torp recovery on your device. That's what I recommend installing anyway. And you're gonna have to get into recovery. So I'm gonna do a reboot to recovery. This is gonna get my device to boot into Torp recovery. And basically from here, it's very, very simple to flash this over. Um, you're just gonna to wanna to take a quick Nandroid backup of whatever you're running right now in case you have any issues. All right, so basically you're in Torp recovery. You see it booted up. Um, I'd also recommend trying to get up to the newest Torp recovery if you're not on it already. You do have to have SF, Unlock, Bootloader, or Great Custom Recovery installed, all those kind of good things. If you don't have any of that, you um, gonna to wanna to watch my playlist on YouTube on this device. I do cover all of it. So check that out for sure. Um, if the methods I have listed don't work, try checking out uh, Sunshine app. It's by a guy named Jay Case and some other developers that should get you as soft and unlocked. So just so you know. All right, so basically you're gonna do an Android backup right here. Swipe across, create an Android backup. I'm gonna show you, I already have a bunch of backups in here, so I'm not worried about doing it myself right this minute, but definitely do it. Always first step, you wanna do that. Make sure you have decent battery life. I've got 80%, that's plenty. Um, even probably 50% would be enough. Go ahead and do a full wipe. So swipe across, this is gonna factory reset your device, wipe data, cache, Delvic, all that kind of good stuff. We'll go back. Um, and then you're just gonna go to install. And I'm actually already in the folder that has my ROM, so I'm gonna click the Liquid Smooth KitKat ROM. Then I'm gonna add a zip, and I'm gonna click the Google Applications. And I'm gonna swipe across to flash. There you go, you got two files you're gonna flash. This together is about, I think it's, what, 200 megabytes for Liquid Smooth and about 200 of the megabytes for the applications. So it's very fast. This should install very, very quickly, um, which is really nice, small ROM, doesn't take up a lot of space on your device. And that's pretty much gonna be it, guys. Once this thing finishes, we'll do a reboot. You'll see your boot animation, and you will have Liquid Smooth on your device. Very, very simple process, very simple. All right, so we should be done, there we go. Reboot system. And again, you're gonna see the boot animation, but you're gonna see that this thing just boots so, so fast. It's just a breath of fresh air how fast this thing boots. Um, there you go, that's gonna be it, guys. That's gonna be my install on the HTC One M8. This is the Verizon variant, uh, Liquid Smooth ROM. Definitely check it out. All links will be in the video description down below. Everything you need to do this on your HTC One M8. Please stay tuned for more videos on this device on Android Wear devices, all kinds of smartphones and tablets. I cover just about everything. Check me out at rootjunkie.com and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah. Bam, she booted that quick. I said out and there it was. That is a fast boot up, yeah.